I already know that I can get input from the keyboard, but I'm not really sure how the guitar controller maps over to the Xbox controls. So you'll see here I've got my Guitar Hero controller. Uh, the nice thing about Xbox, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the other platforms, but I know that Xbox has USB controllers. So you can simply plug this in to your laptop, your development machine, and uh, access it as if it were you know, connected to an Xbox. Before we do that though, uh, we know that most Xbox games are controlled by Xbox controllers. If you have Bluetooth in your laptop, you can simply pair it up, uh, or an easier way to do it is to get one of these little uh, Bluetooth receivers that you can plug in. It's USB, and then you can just push the little pair buttons on these to make them talk. So what I've done is I've written a little tiny X and A game, didn't take me any more than 10 minutes, just to see what happens when I push these buttons, whether or not the input registers. That way, when I swap this controller, the guitar controller, out for this one, I'll be able to tell which of the Guitar Hero buttons uh, correspond to the actual Xbox controller buttons. So without any further ado, let's see what I'm doing uh, in .NET. In order to determine what the controls on the guitar controller do, I've written a really, really simple XNA game. I basically just went to File, New Game, New Windows Game, and uh, I've added a sprite font here and a message, and all this is going to do is just output text. And the text is just going to reflect the various button states and so forth of uh, the Xbox controller. So if we look in our load content method, I'm loading in a new uh, font, uh, all I did to do that was just go to content, add new item, choosing a sprite font and giving it the name of the font that I wanted to use. So I have Arial.sprite font. So I'm loading my Arial font. Now every time that the game updates, I'm setting the message. Now you can look at this a little bit to fully understand how trivial it is to get input from a controller using the XNA framework. Here I've just dereferenced the, uh, the gamepad state into a variable called state for player number one. And I'm just basically rattling off all these different buttons and triggers, and I did this just by physically looking at the controller and looking at the buttons and then looking for them in my state variable. And I'm just doing a two-string operation to see what they are. So when we run this game by pushing Control F5, we have a blue screen. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that in my draw method, all I'm doing is just drawing the string in a new sprite batch. Really simple. So when we have the program running, we can start pushing some buttons and seeing what what happens. So now we know what happens when we push those buttons and everything looks like it works just fine. So what we can do now is swap out the Guitar Hero controller for our little Bluetooth adapter. Then when we push those buttons we'll just write down what they correspond to. So let's start with the directional pad, just to make sure that it works like the Xbox controller does. So when we push to the right, we should see D-pad right being pressed, up, actually that's down because it's flipped, up, and left. Um, when we press start, that's the start button. I'm assuming back is also back. Now let's see what the whammy is, because this is going to be confusing for us. Whammy is the right thumbstick. Okay. Awesome. So let's write that down. Now let's see what the strum bar is. This is going to be important, because this is going to be the main interface to our game. So that's D-pad down. So it's down for strumming down, and up for strumming up. Interesting. Okay. Now the only really important buttons that we have left are the five colored ones. Let's see what they do. So the green button, as expected, is A. The, uh, you can probably wager that the red button will correspond to B. And that the yellow button will correspond to Y. And that the blue button will correspond to X. So what does the orange one do? I'm guessing that it's one of the uh, shoulders, left or right shoulder. Good, so orange is left shoulder. That's all the information that we need for now. So let's get cracking building our input.